what's up guys welcome back so we are still here in a pattern fever now so today's pattern is the pattern that you are seeing on your screen now this pattern looks like a pyramid right now you uh, you start out with printing one star then two then three then four then five and so on you continue the shape of the pattern is like a pyramid now if you look closely this pattern should remind you of a pattern right so this is this pattern which you see on the left hand side is actually same as the pattern on the right hand side the only difference is that in the left hand side pattern there are spaces inserted before your stars but in the right pattern there is no spaces on the left hand side okay so that's that's the only difference now if you can if you if you have seen my previous videos this is the pattern that we actually did so there is a minor modification that we need to do to get the left hand side pattern now let's uh, let's look how the pattern is actually printing on the screen now this assume this to be your screen now the upper ones are the columns and your left side are your rows now as you can see that first we start out with four spaces and then one star then you go with three spaces then you go with two stars now the each star is separated by a space now as you can see now even if you consider any star even if this end star you consider there is actually a space after this but it is not visible because it is a space so so that's how you get this pattern now the one thing that you need, need to remember uh, is that now if if suppose i want to print say five uh, five rows right these are five rows so if i want to print five rows and i want to know how many number of spaces i want to print on any particular given line so what i'll do is the uh, the number of rows that i want to print that is five minus the row number so suppose we are on the first row okay so we have to print five lines right and we are on the first row so we'll do five minus one that is four so we'll print four spaces now as you can see now if you consider the third row now in this case we are printing five uh, lines so five minus three which is equal to two spaces so this is how you derive the equation for your spaces and these stars are uh, according to your rows so if you are printing uh, the third row so you'll print three stars you are printing the fourth row you'll print four stars and so on so this is how you actually do it in a code now let's quickly jump into the code and uh, complete this quickly okay so as you can see i just created a file and i just wrote down our main and included stdio so the first thing that we need to know is how many rows do we want to print so that's what the user will give so let's take that input from the user and do it so now i just wrote down your uh, i just asked for the input from the user and took it in number of rows now what we need to do is that after getting the number of rows we need to actually start printing so first we need this will be having nested loops like our previous programs now for this i'll just write down the for loops now this is what i just declared a few uh, variables that is the row for the corresponding row now this column is for uh, printing our spaces and this column star will be for printing our stars okay so let's get started now we need to start printing our row from the first row right so we'll just be having starting it from one and we need to print it the number of row times doing this now the first thing that we need to do is that we need to actually print the spaces right so for that we'll be requiring a for loop so now let's start printing our column spaces now this will require a for loop now for this i'm going to use the column space variable okay so from where do we need to start now if you consider any row say suppose we consider the third row okay so and we were supposed to print five lines of our stars uh, the pyramid right so th for that we were calculating such that number of rows that you want to print minus the row that you are currently printing so if you just look over here now if suppose you are printing the third row now we know that we want to print five lines so it will be five minus the third row right so this uh, the number of rows that we want to print and the corresponding row which we are currently printing so that will be our uh, starting point so i'll just write it down so it will be and we need to print it uh, and we need to start it from there and we need to print uh, it until it is uh, greater than or equal to 1 so now that we have done writing our conditions and uh, the stuff of the for loop now what we actually need to do is actually print it so i'll just uh, print it we need to print a space right so i'll just put a space 
now so we have successfully completed printing our spaces now we need to look at our stars okay so for this for any give uh, for printing star we need to print the stars corresponding to the row number right so if suppose we are on the fifth row we'll be printing five stars so that way we need to start it i'm going to be using this uh, column star for uh, uh, this loop uh, we need to start this from 1 and this will go till our column start star is less than or equal to our the row that we are curr uh, currently on so now that we have completed our uh, star printing now you just need to remember one thing that is that after printing every star right this is this is where we will be printing stars so after printing every star we need to have a space after it so if you remember so i'll take you back to the diagram so if you look over here now every time you print a star you you put a space after every star so what every time you are printing this star and a space together so you just don't forget about this because this is very important to get the pattern looking the same way as i have shown you so we need to put a space right so this space is very important after the star so after we have done this we need to go to the next line so i'll just put the uh, printf backslash n and we are done with our code so let's compile and see if we have any errors oh i forgot i need to write printf okay so okay so now that we have done let's execute our code so now this is asking you for uh, the number of rows that we want to print say suppose we want to print for say five rows so i'll put five and now as you can see we have printed our five rows now let's try it for some other input so now let's try how about 10 so now you can see that this is printing for 10 uh, 10 now i hope you have understood this program uh, i have tried to make it as simple as possible now this pattern is very useful now this pattern will be using in our next program uh, so uh, be sure to know this pattern quite uh, uh, thoroughly and that's it for this tutorial now uh, you guys i just want to tell you something we have actually launched our blog now here we post our tutorials and and other technical stuff now here we have posted a article that is on free calling now you always have imagined about uh, having to call free without any charge and without any internet okay so if you are facing these barriers you should go through this uh, this post now this is uh, Uh, this free call allows you to call your friends free of cost okay so uh, head down uh, to our blog and check it out it's completely free and uh, i would like to hear uh, what was your experience calling your friends of uh, your through your free calling so after completing this pattern now you can try this pattern now this pattern is similar to what we did today so i hope you can solve this if you can do this properly that means that you have understood everything so if you want us to do this pattern also please put it in the comment section we will be happy to help you so that's it for this tutorial please do subscribe to our channel like our videos and if you have any doubts please do put them in the comment section or the description section we'll solve them as quickly as possible thank you